That is going on, Governor's Just Cool here, and today we're going to expertise this commander right over here, Saladin, who is a beast in the open field and for rallies. If you like Rise of Kingdoms videos where we max out commanders, you should like and subscribe because we've got quite a collection of those and we do make daily videos about Rise of Kingdoms. This commander, Saladin, has proven to be very, very strong. There's a couple things I like about them. First of all, they've got the support tree, and the support tree has huge raid generation and skill damage taken reduction in a number of places. They are cavalry, which means they've got charge talents. They can go super fast on the battlefield. And look at that, more skill damage taken reduction. Crazy Town. Crazy Town, I like Saladin a whole heck of a lot. We're going to expertise him. Now, you could make an argument that, like, is this a good time in the game to expertise Saladin, given that... Attila and Takeda do normal attack damage. They might counter what Saladin is doing there because there's no skill damage that they're inflicting on a Saladin army. I'm going to make the argument that Saladin is still very strong in part because of the healing reduction. And the expertise skill is going to increase our damage factor by 300 from the active skill as well as increase the effectiveness of that healing reduction from... Let's see here, 40% um, to 50%, which is really good. It increases the march speed reduction by, from 30% to 50%, which is less important, but still quite strong. So let's drop an expertise skill onto this commander. Now, before we do, you know I like to run around and battle some barbarians just to get a sense of how they're doing on the battlefield. So we're going to take Saladin as the primary. We're going to take... I don't know. Uh, let's take our good friend Khan as a secondary here. We're going to bring a small amount of knights. Let's say 75,000 so we can actually observe this in action. And so this is going to be a hard battle. No way. Stop it. We're going to go battle this thing. 75,000 T4s. We got this, right? We could do this. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We're going to battle this Barbarian on our Alliance territory, then we'll do it again and compare the results after we've gotten the Expertise skill. So here we go. 75,000 T4 hitting this Barb. Um, our normal attack damage sitting at 11,000, sorry, 1,120 or so. Pretty solid. Our skill attack, 4,500, 5,300, 5,200. All right, there they are again. Wow. Skill attacks fire off real fast with this pair. <laughs> real, real fast. This is what we like about Saladin. So that damage factor of 1,400 is showing up as 3,300 damage, uh, and the 1,700 damage factor on Khan is what we're going to be getting on Saladin soon. So the damage you see when those shields all hit the target actually are about what the damage would look like after this expertise skill is obtained. So that was super easy. I don't know why I thought I'd have a problem with that. There we go. Damage has been done. We'll favorite the report. This is not statistically significant. We should go battle other players. That would be a better measure. However, we'll do that during a kill event. That's when we do something like that. So let's go in now and let's pick up the expertise skill on Saladin. Now, if you're skilling up your Saladin, make sure you max the first three skills before you go any further. The last skills are all about hitting cities, which is really not as important, especially if you're not going to expertise this commander. Theoretically, we could just stop here and we'd be in a pretty good spot. However, because we've already got them up to level 60, because we've already got um, a lot of investment in cavalry, this is a move that I feel pretty good about. So let's drop sculptures in. We've got 1,021 sculptures to spend. We're not going to spend that many today. Today. We're going to put 15 onto Saladin and upgrade that skill once. It then takes 75 sculptures to upgrade that skill again. Now we're going to drop a cool 80 sculptures. And last but not least, yet another 80 sculptures onto Saladin to unlock the Expertise skill, which we are about to do. We've now maxed out Generosity, which <laughs> I'm generously wrecking your city and not taking your resources, I think is what's happening there. <laughs> Let's go in 
and smash this button to unlock the expertise skill. Boom. <laughs> yes. This is good. Praise the creator. Our damage factor is now 1,700. And we've increased the march speed reduction by 20% going to 50%, 10%. Uh, healing effectiveness decrease going to 50%. This is very, very strong, very powerful in a game mode like Ark of Osiris. Sweet. This is our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12th expertise legendary commander. Let's take Saladin Khan for a spin. We'll find a 25 barb. Boom. Oh, so close. So close. And we'll queue up 75,000 troops. Ba-boom. And we are on our way. The reason they go so fast is they have charge talents. Gosh darn it, the support tree is so... Oh, not charge. A hasty departure. The support tree is so good. It is so good. All right, so here we go. This is about to connect. What is this going to look like? We've got the report saved from the first one. The damage should be elevated now, a non-trivial amount. It should be the same amount of damage that Khan is about to do. So there's Saladin, 5,400. There's 5,400 again. There's 5,300. Um, and that's in part because the army is taking some damage. Um, they fired off their skills again, and it was in the 4,000s. Here it is again, 4,000 and 4,000. Here it is again. They fire off so fast, 4,000 and 4,000. Love it. Love it. The damage is elevated slightly. It's elevated slightly. Um, overall, I feel pretty gosh darn good about this expertise skill. We'll see how much faster this barb died. It's worth mentioning that, again, this is not statistically significant. And we're subject to the procs of Khan, who's the secondary commander. He's got a 30% chance with his expertise skill to attack again, which is kind of nuts. So if we favorite this report... Let's see how this looks. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Well, we did better without the expertise skill. My life's funny sometimes. My, my life is funny sometimes. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what What's going on here? I mentioned it's not statistically significant. Um, it could be that we got more con procs with the other one. It could be that we got con the con procs sooner with the other one, which is a big deal. Um, that said, objectively, we would have done more damage over here if we had the extra damage. So <laughs> it is better, even though I find myself laughing at how incremental that gain is. The fact that there is any scenario where it's not just slam dunk better goes to show you that expertise in commanders is good, but it is not like totally backbreaking in all scenarios. And sometimes the gain is very incremental. Um, this commander is now much, much better for hitting a city. If I were to rally a city, which with an expertise Saladin, I feel much better about doing. Um, yes, we are getting, you know, 12% more damage than we would have before. We were sitting at 3% damage boost against cities. Now it's 15% damage boost. Um, in most situations, that's really not as big a deal. So the thing that we're really getting as a benefit on a commander like Saladin as a legendary is that that skill that you really don't want the, the skill points to land on is the fourth skill. Um, so this is a commander you could make a better argument for most than say, like, actually, I'm not going to expertise him. I do feel good about this choice, though. Now, let's say you want to start using your Saladin, even though you don't have him expertise yet, or you may not expertise him at all. That means he's going to be a secondary commander. Let me make some recommendations for what some optimal pairings would be. If Saladin is a secondary commander and you've maxed either the first skill and the second skill, or you just decided to spread the points out across these two skills after you've maxed the first skill, always max the first skill on this commander. Um, you got some good choices. Saladin is, of course, very, very strong as a secondary to Khan. Khan is phenomenal. <laughs> uh, but let's talk about a more budget-friendly option. Um, using your 
Saladin, not expertise, as a secondary to Pelagius is a really strong play. The reason I like this is that Pelagius has good rage restoration in the skill tree and in the first skill generating 100 rage every time an active skill is used, which is going to elevate the uptime on those debuffs that you're getting from Saladin, which is a big part of the value that you get from using a commander like that. Um, I think that would be my number one epic pairing. I also, of course... As a bonus mention here, like Bybars as a primary, although he doesn't have as much rage gen, he does have AoE, but for the debuffs, I actually do think Pelagius is kind of a sweeter pair. Now, at the legendary tier, I think that I would use your Saladin as a secondary to a commander like Minamoto, uh, who has the skill tree to have really strong rage generation. I think that would be a great choice. And... We have yet to know whether or not Saladin will be a great secondary to a commander like Attila. I actually would sort of reverse the order if I'm pairing him with Attila. Um, Saladin will be the primary, Attila will be the secondary, but this is not a budget option at all. This is not a budget option at all. We got more to talk about with this commander and also with the Keda later on. Neither of these are budget options at this moment in time and even later into the game. Like, I don't know that these should be the primary, certainly not Takeda, and even Attila doesn't have the skill tree to generate lots of rage in order to keep your Saladin's debuff at a maximum amount of uptime. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe so you can get more notifications about videos just like this one, and until next time, you have fun. Smashing the kingdom.